Well, hello, my friends. We last uh, video, we started looking at the midpoint rule, you know, looking at the intervals and midpoints. So I want to give a um, step by step uh, guidelines. <clears throat> so to approximate the definite integral from A to B of f of x dx, that's what we're talking about. That means the area under the curve at y equals f of x uh, between A and B. And by under the curve, I mean to the x axis. Uh, we want to use the midpoint rule, uh, and that's what I was uh, doing in the previous video. Um, and we want to use the steps below. So first we, now these are very generalized steps, and they kind of summarize what we did in that previous video. So, and I'm going to do a new example in this video to sort of illustrate, highlight these. Anyway, we're going to divide the interval uh, A comma B into N subintervals. In the previous case, we, we divided into four intervals. Um, each of them is going to be with, the width of each one is gonna be delta X, and it's gonna be B minus A over N, meaning that B minus A is the length of the, of the entire, you know, of, of everything from A to B. And we're gonna divide it into N uh, sub intervals. So each, each sub interval is gonna be one nth of the total, which is B minus A. So that, this formula makes a lot of sense. And step two is we're going to find the midpoints of each subinterval, which we did. We found the midpoint of each subinterval, and then we want to evaluate the function at each of the each of those uh, uh, midpoints, and then uh, and then we multiply, then we add them all up and multiply by by that magic number by that b minus a over n, which is the width of each rectangle. So these. These uh, numbers here, these are the heights of each little rectangle. And this is the, here is the width of the rectangles. And I'm able to factor out the width because they, they all have different heights, but they all have the same width. That's why I'm able to do this. So this is the, this is the general guideline for uh, what we did in the previous video and what I'm about to do in this uh, upcoming video. So let me... Uh, Stop my share, switch my camera, and we're going to move on to a new case. Okay, here we, ah, very nice. Here we go. We're going to look at a very simple curve, y equals x squared. Straight parabola, you've, you've seen, not a straight parabola, but, you know. Um, and we want to evaluate it. We want to find the integral from 0. Uh, we want to find the, the integral from 0 to 8 of x squared dx. And I want to use, I'm going to let n, I'm going to let n equal four. In other words, there are going to be four subintervals. So this is a uh, zero and this here is uh, eight. And we know the curve y equals x squared. It looks, you know, we, we've seen it many times before. It's a parabola. And we're going to mark off, well, what is, so, so, Delta X, which is the width of the rectangles is gonna be eight minus zero divided by four and that equals two. So each rectangle is gonna have a width of two. So let's mark that off. So that's, which means each interval is gonna be a width of two. So that's two, four, six. So that's. Now the, these are gonna be the sides of the rectangles, not the midpoints. So that's two, four, six. Now the midpoint, that's easy enough. That's uh, one, three, five, and seven. There are my midpoints and we're all, all good to go. Now the midpoints are going to, we're gonna, we're gonna go straight up here. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're gonna draw the uh the rectangle. So so I just wanna start my rectangles. I want just wanna sort of start through it. Okay, so let, let's draw now eight. Yeah. And so six is going to meet up there, and that's in that's in there. That's going to be in there. That's going to 
Now the height, that's one squared, that's three squared, that's five squared, and that's seven squared. So the area now, the area now is going to be two, or say it's approximately going to be, or the area of the, the area of the four rectangles, which is which is approximately uh, the area underneath, which is approximately the area under the curve. Again, you know, there's overage, underage, and so forth. And I didn't draw it 100% perfectly. I'm not a, you know, not a machine. But it's going to be the width, which is 2, times the sum of the heights, which is 1 squared plus uh, 3 squared plus 5 squared plus 7 squared. So that's uh, 2 times 1 plus 9 plus 25 plus 49. And that winds up being 2 times equals 168 that's our answer one so the area of the four rectangles which is approximation for the area under the curve is 168 now I'm just going to tell you the actual area the actual area is actually 170.6. And that's pretty darn close. You know, that's a big um that's a nice uh now how how can we make this more accurate? Well, we can make it more accurate by making more rectangles. You see, if we make more rectangles and the rectangles are thinner, they're gonna sort of grip the curve, they're gonna hug the curve closer. There'll be less of that white, there'll be less of that, you know, um that that uh, that 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 overage and underage. So uh, why don't we do that? Let's um let's do the same problem, exact same problem. Only instead of making uh four intervals, we're gonna make uh eight intervals. So we're looking at the curve y equals x squared, and we want the the area from zero to eight of x squared dx, and we want to let n equal eight. So we want to make eight intervals instead of instead of um, only four. Let's see what happens here. So I'm going to draw the picture. Well, the truth is, well, let's just draw the picture. Um, it gets to a point, the truth is, it gets to a point where you don't even need to, where you don't even need to draw the picture anymore. You could just crunch the numbers, but I always like drawing the pictures. It always it's illuminated. Okay, and um, because my pictures are not that illuminated. So that's eight. Well, if that's one, uh, here are, here's my eight uh, eight sub intervals from zero to one, one to two, two to three, and so on and so forth. And now each of these has a um, midpoint. So the midpoint, of course, is, uh, I, I guess I'm going to say, um, that's one half. That's three halves. I actually want to do it with fractions now. Uh, It's five halves, seven halves, nine halves. These are all the different midpoints. Eleven halves, thirteen halves, and fifteen halves. That, of course, represents. It's around, it's around here.
Yeah, I love drawing pictures. It was like drawing pictures. The picture was worth a thousand chihuahuas. And yeah, this guy right there. Okay. Um, now, delta x is pretty obvious. I, I said it's. I said each one has a width of one, but let's just do it with a formula. So it's going to be a b minus a, which is eight minus zero over n, which is eight. And that just equals one. So that's pretty straightforward. So the area, the approximate area, which is the which is basically when I say approximate area, it means the sum of the eight rectangles. It's going to be well, the y values is just I'm just plugging in. See, I'm taking this one times. Now I'm going to write it the, the way the way we had in those official guidelines. F of one half plus F of three halves plus dot 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 plus F of 15 halves. What is F of one half? F of one half, that's whatever the function is. In this case, is x squared. So the area. Approximately one half squared plus three um, three halves squared plus five halves squared plus fifteen halves squared. Now I could factor out a common factor of of uh, of one half squared. So the area. Is going to be approximately one quarter, one squared plus three squared plus five squared plus seven squared, all the way up to 15 squared. And everything gets multiplied by a quarter. And if everything got multiplied by one, but I just didn't bother writing the one anymore. Well, this is something I could easily uh, add up um, uh, with or without a calculator. I'll just, uh, I'll actually want to do it with a so, uh, one, four, nine, sixteen, twenty-five. Oh, let's just add that up. It's five, and fourteen, and twenty. Uh, it's fourteen. It's twenty. It's twenty-five. It's so fifty-five. Let's go to thirty-six and five. Thirty-six, uh, forty-nine, sixty-four, one hundred, six, six, seven. Oh, I missed eighty-one. Okay, uh, missed eighty-one. Okay, so that's uh, uh, fifty. It's nineteen twenty. It's uh, <clears throat> not it's going to be 10, 15, 15, 15, and 18 is 3, 2, and that's 3, 3. And we're going to do uh, 121, 144, 13 is 169, 14 is 196, that's 225. That's uh, <clears throat> 14, and then the next 20 again, I like that. Five, uh, well, two up there, <clears throat> two, four, eight, fourteen, twenty-three, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to add up uh, eight, fifty-five, three, thirty, and fifty-five, eight, five, five, three. Three zero five five zero four and one two four zero. Let's um just let just double check that. Okay, I double checked it and it is correct. So the area is approximately one quarter of twelve forty. And that's uh three one zero. Now would be prox the area is gonna be approximately um <clears throat> uh, 
Well, I feel very silly now. That's happens on live TV. I, I, uh, I'm always supposed to add the odd ones, not not all of them. So let's start over again. So we have um, one, nine, twenty five, and that comes out to be. And then here we have forty nine, um, one three five seven nine is um, eighty one, and eleven is one twenty one. Then we have uh, 169, 169, and 225. Okay, that's what happens. On, that's what happens. Uh, sometimes you make mistakes and we fix them right away. That's a beautiful. That's a beautiful thing about math. You make a mistake, you can fix it right away. So um, that's uh, 35, and that's going to be one. And that's going to be 12, 13, 14, 15. That's two, 251. Here we have uh, four. That's uh, nine, and that's three. So we have three, nine, four, two, five, one, and three, five, and that gives us zero. That gives us 15, 18, 680. Now we have 680. So it's um, one fourth, 680. And that equals one four six eighty. That's going to be that out. So uh, six eight zero divided by four is uh, that's four. That's one. That's nice. Twenty eight, and that's seven. Ooh, look at that. One seven. So we get approximately one seven zero. Now that is phenomenal, because remember. The actual area we actually I, I told you earlier, the actual area is 170.6. And now that we just make a mere a mere eight box, eight, eight rectangles, we've got 170. That is darn close. I was I almost said a I almost said a bad word. That is quite close. Um <clears throat> so uh this is a very remarkable thing. And, and again, I, I was now why I, I, I was doing all the stuff by hand because you don't even need a computer for this. Now, if you have a computer, you could make uh, you could make, you know, 10 rectangles, 100 rectangles, 1,000 rectangles. You just keep on programming the computer to, you know, you basically program the computer to take delta X and multiply it by the sum of all these midpoints of, of, of not midpoints, but the, the F of each midpoint point and uh, pound. You know, the truth is, you know, we didn't even, you, we could have managed without the diagram at all once we, as long as we, once we, you know, figure out all this uh, stuff. But anyway, um, but I love the diagram. It just makes it all make sense. Anyway, this has been a, a, a delightful uh, video. Um, we're going to make, we're going to make more. And uh, for now, I'm signing off and it's been loads of fun. Bye.